What's up guys, Genesis back here with more Duel Links. I know it's been a long time since I've created the video, but I had a few things going on in my personal life that had to get put together. But I'm back, and I actually just got the Steam version of Duel Links, which is a godsend because I was literally uh, playing on my phone and like doing some really cheap way of, try of recording it. But now that it's on PC, uh, I'm just going to try it out. I'm going to see what it sounds like, see what it's what the quality is and I can improve it for later but today I'm not bringing a farming video today I'm bringing some straight fire <laughs> like a really fun deck to play um, I got kind of lucky in the DD tower event that's just going on right now there's uh, you know I'm pretty much done it farming it at this point but today I bring to go. you a pyrorex deck that um, you know I thought it was interesting that Pyrorex was one of the uh, rewards that you could get. So I built a Pyrorex deck. You can see the deck list on the right, but I'm bringing it up in the middle screen right now. So three Pyrorex, and mind you, um, I must preface that this is not a competitive deck. This deck is strictly for fun, and it is 100% a meme deck. If uh, <laughs> the three divine rats uh, don't give it away. This is absolutely a meme deck. Now, um, you can have a lot of fun with this. Uh, there's a lot of uh, you know options that you can do depending on you how you open, which is why I'm playing dual standby. Uh, there's a lot of things that you could do if you open, for example, two Yakshas and a, a Phoenix. You know, and basically the the whole reason you want this deck, you want three Pyrorexes, because you really want to win with Pyrorex. Right? The whole point of this is to get five fire monsters in your grave and summon Pyrorex. Right? So that's why we have K9Tar. And that's why we have Goka, which can special summon and destroy a monster. So it's a really fun deck to play. Um, I have a few replays here that I, I recorded for a few a, f a while ago, but I don't really remember what happens. But uh, there were a few re few ranked matches I played, and um, they're quite fun, so let's get into them. So, uh, this is all, like, it's a new season. So a lot of these matches are, are in Platinum, uh, Platinum Rank 4, so it's a new season. So, uh, you know, it's not a legend or anything like that. So we go first. I, I really don't remember what happened, so this is going to be interesting for me too. So the first match is against... Middle Age Mechs, Ancient Gears. So this is a pretty good starting hand that I have here. Let's see what I do. The correct play would be to summon the... The Yaksha, yeah, that's the correct play. And then summon Goka. And destroy Phoenix. So yeah, so here I destroy my Yaksha and then destroy Phoenix to get Goku on the field. Now, I actually think that Ancient Gears will have a problem with this because he only has one counter. He only has one counter on Ancient Gear. So, in most cases, the only thing that can get over uh, Goku is the big one, Ancient Gear Golem. So there's actually, like, unless he has like an Econ or something like that or, you know, Ryoku. He's actually going to have a tough time getting over Goka. Like in, so, let's see what he does here. So he summons Ancient Gear Beast and a, and a set. So he doesn't do anything there. So I have a suspicion that, you know, with Ancient Gears, it's most likely like an Econ or a Mirror Wall, but Phoenix is coming out. So he, so he chains Econ. If he really wanted to, he could have... Well, no, I had Phoenix in the grave, because I was thinking, like, maybe he could econ my Goka and kill it, but I don't think that's worth it. So, even without Pyrorex, uh, this, we're already in good shape here. He has no back row. I have three monsters. We're in good shape. So I have one monster in the grave now, so I, pop, I attack with Canine Tar and pop Phoenix into the grave. Can't remember, does it? No, he didn't have a Kribo, okay, so... 
We're in good shape right now. So, place is Ancient Gear Knight and another face down set. Now, I suspect that one of these is Wall of Disruption. So I'm not sure. Like it has to, this has to be like mirror wall or or wall of disruption. So I'm still gonna um, I'm gonna set one face down because I'm worried about a wall of disruption. So okay, I I, <laughs> I attack into a mirror wall, which is not it's not a good play. I probably should attack with the K9 tar first, so I didn't lose my Goka. Electro. So I'm gonna lose my entire field here. So might have been a mistake to set the Yaksha. I don't pop its effect. This is going great. My turn. Come on out. I special summon a monster. My monster's effect. Because I had five fire in the grave. So I pop Pyrorex on the Ancient Gear Knight. Which brings him down to 100. If he has a wall of disruption, I'm kind of screwed here, so I turn my canine tart to defense. He pops his rare metal morph. So I tried to play around the uh, wall of D here. I actually don't think that um, it's enough. <laughs> yeah, so he dropped Phoenix and it's good, good to go. So that's the first game right there. Didn't even really need Pyrorex, the deck kind of wins on its own. Okay, so now we're going to jump into the second replay against Joey. I'm going second, so that's really good. I, I like to go second when I'm playing dual standby. I mean, you get to start with six cards. You shouldn't underestimate me because and I have two Pyrorex and a Divine Wrath in my opening hand. So I can knock you down. Duel. It's my turn. Now what is set? I summon a monster in attack position. So he's playing Rhino Taurus. Like I have no idea what this deck is. So I set one both of my divine rats. And I summon Canine Tar. I mean this has to be a mirror wall. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna lose my canine tar. But I'm still going to pop its effect. So I have two fires in the grave. Now I don't even know what deck he's playing. I don't know what deck uses Rhino Taurus. So another set. Tribute summon for Hazy Flame. Oh boy. Oh, oh. So I can pop Divine Wrath on his Hazy Flame. And drop the... Um, Drop the Yaksha. So this is actually a bad play. Don't do that. You, I probably should have just dropped the Pyrorex because I'm like really counting on my like to top deck a monster. And obviously I don't. I can't pick up a Phoenix. So it, that's really bad for me. So I'm really hoping for the heart of the cards on the next turn. So he summons his Flamville Grinica. I take 1700 to the face. So I'm really hoping for a monster that I can summon this turn. Part of the cards comes true, I pick up a canine tar. So I, I'm not going to attack into a face down and, and lose the game. So he costs down into... Another hazy flame, oh boy. I have another divine rat set, so... Ugh, negated. Get out of here. See, like, this is such a meme deck, like, who plays, who has two Divine Wrath set, like, oh boy. So I summon my second K9 Tar, and he can't really attack into me, because I could, uh, you know, pop K9 Tar's effect into damage step, so he doesn't attack into me. So 
So I want to get another monster in the grave. So I Econ take. Because I know I have... I believe I had four fire monsters in the graveyard. So I Econ take, summon Pyrorex. And attack. And his face down must be nothing. So I attack with Pyrorex for the win. <laughs> and that was replay number two. So I'm going second again against Taya. So this is this Taya is probably playing dual standby. So I'm gonna have seven cards in my hand. And like dual standby could be so many things nowadays. Like it isn't necessarily burn. It isn't necessarily mill. Uh, I mean, it could be like Dark Paladin or anything like that. But he's playing Cup of Ace, so this is absolutely mill. <laughs> so mill in 2017, or pretty much 2018. It's December already, so. So he rolls tails on the first one. That sucks. He rolls tails again. So basically, I have my whole deck like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have 11 cards in my hand before turn 2. So. Yeah, so absolutely. This is probably a warm worm and like faint plan. So I summon my. my Yaksha. And uh, summon Goka, destroy Yaksha, and drop a Phoenix into the grave. So I think this is the best play for now, because I want to deal with his back row. Also, what's great too, because I had another Yaksha in my hand, I could special summon it as well. So I don't want to set my Divine Wraths yet, because I, I want to confirm that it's Mill. Okay, so he pops Windstorm. That's okay. So I was able to drop another K9 tar because I had so many goddamn cards in my hand. So he has two sets. I still don't know for sure it's, if it's mill, but it has, it pretty much has to be because he was playing Cup of Ace. So he probably thinks he's in good shape. I'm already down to eight cards. But as you can see, I picked up my third Divine Wrath. So I'm going to set all three. And I, I think to myself... I'm not going to attack this turn because he th he probably thinks he's going to win at this point because he has two two sets. He has three sets and a one set in the back row. Like he probably thinks he's won the game. <laughs> and little does he know, little does he know. I have three divine rat set. So I attack with Yaksha first and of course Warm Worm. He's like, "Yes, three cards." Nope. <laughs> what indeed? So Divine Wrath, the first Warm Worm. Attack with Goka. Nah, he's like, I'm good. Hero Shadow Scott, that's another three cards. Like, no, man, I'm good. He's still gonna lose. Nope. Divine Wrath. <laughs> At this point, I was starting to feel bad for him. He's just like, what the hell kind of deck am I playing? Oh, so he pops Karibo on my Phoenix. I wonder if he was worried of <laughs> what this was, the third Divine Wrath. So I actually pop uh, Goka's effect here, so I can get another monster and a fire monster in the grave. So it allows me to play uh, Pyrorex. I knew I checked um, before I made this play to make sure I had four Fire Monsters in the grave. So I knew I had four. I popped Goka's effect to get the fifth one, so I could summon Pyrorex. Now because I'm pretty sure, like he hasn't played a Faint Plan yet, so I'm pretty sure one of these cards are a Faint Plan, and I won't be able to attack this turn and let him stall some more. And I'm pretty sure he thinks he's still in good shape, but I summon Pyrorex, destroy his face down. And he pops a faint plan, so that doesn't matter. Because his face down. Hero Shadow Scout goes to the grave. And he already used the Windstorm, so. That's game. And this guy must be pissed off. Like, what the hell just happened? Well, that'll teach you to play Mill.
So we're going to jump into the 4-3 play here against the Yugi player. And there's some times where, our, like, you know, the, mo the monster's too big you know, for, for, like, a Goka or something, so you're kind of screwed or Phoenix. So there's times where I kind of wish I played Beatdown, but, you know, you really need... I, I, I like dual standby for the consistency. So there are a few things I could do here. I could have, like, just played the Yaksha and set Divine Wrath, but... I guess, you know, I guess in this game I decided to go aggro and um, summon Yaksha and destroy my Phoenix. I mean, it's a lot to do in his first turn, because I don't know what he's playing. So I might have put myself in a bad spot by like playing all my cards, so probably don't do that if you're playing this deck. So he has a set. That's gonna get destroyed by Phoenix. I hope you can help me. I special summon a mop my monster's effect activates. I wonder what it is. Oh, wild tornado, are you serious? Oh sure is my Goka. Here I come. So I set my divine wrath. I wonder what this is then. A deep diver. What kind, of, oh, what kind of deck is this? Oh my goodness. I expected you to do that. My monster's effect activates. I remember thinking to myself that I wasn't going to waste my Divine Wrath on this, but then, I, then he pulls a Dark Magician. I will not lose. So, if he gets that on the field, it's going to be a problem for me. Okay. So, I, 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 at this point, I'm thinking, like, you know, that has to be a Windstorm or a Wall of Disruption. So, I turned my Yaksha into defense position, which in hindsight was a mistake. I should have turned my Phoenix into defense position. So, of course, yes, he does play Wall of Disruption, uh, bringing my monsters to zero. Ah, man. He's <laughs> like... Uh, so I was thinking to myself, I was getting mean myself this game because he plays Ancient Rules into Dark Magician. So I'm just like, oh boy, like, I'm actually, I think I'm going to lose. Like, I would need, like, the top deck, a perfect top deck. Like, I need Pyrorex. That's the only win condition at this point. Because, you know, Phoenix, even if I can get Phoenix out, they can't get it over top Dark Magician. And the Divine Wrath, it's a normal monster, it has no effects. So really, what am I going to do here? And so, the heart of the cards, again, comes through, I draw Pyrorex. So, I know that I have two, three monsters in the grave. So, I can tribute summon my two fire monsters for Phoenix. And then now I have five fire monsters in the grave. So, Pyro, so I can summon Pyrorex here. So I special summon Pyrorex. I have enough life points take the destruction of Dark Magician, <laughs> and so I can attack directly for the win. It happened to be a mirror wall too, so I completely negate the effect of the mirror wall here, and win the game. <laughs> yeah, so Power Rex, super fun deck to play. Um, it's, super, it's super satisfying when you summon that fire and just destroy their monster go attack for the win. So as a bonus, I'm going to get into a live Pyrorex duel, which I'm going to upload with the replays, win or lose. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I'd probably run into Cyber Angels or Red Eyes and lose immediately. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, so this is not a bad starting hand. Um, I'm going to play my Canine Tar. This might be Red Eyes. And set my Econ and Divine Wrath. Let's see what he does. My turn's over. My turn. Draw. Mm, let's see, let's see. Red Eyes or some kind of 
Troll Platinum deck. Because I actually think like I might have trouble with with Red Eyes unless he summons a Gozuki and I get to negate its effect. That'd be great. Anytime now. Oh my gosh, it's a Phoenix deck? <laughs> Took a long time to decide to do that. Pops is Phoenix. Wow, I did not expect a Phoenix deck. So, what are you going to do now? I guess summon that Yaksha or what? Man, don't think about it so hard. So he's setting his Yaksha. Hmm, pick the Pyrorex. Yeah, I have to. I have to attack that face down, no matter what it is. Well, it's probably. Oh, what is that? Fire Arbiter King Burrow. What does that do? Destroyed by card effect. Had one Fire King card from deck. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna pop K9 Tar. Throw my Flame Tiger to the grave. Phoenix. Can I Divine Wrath this? I can, right? Okay, good. Negated! Get out of here. No Phoenix for you. Do you know about K9 Tar? You have to, I did it last turn. <laughs> you have to know I can activate it in, in the damage step. Don't attack me. Oh, actually, please attack me. Goka? Okay. Do you have a second Phoenix? Pop from your hand. Beat down. I could econ this and get over him next turn. Yeah, let's make the correct play rather than the dumb play. Actually, I don't even know if this is the correct play, but... Because, like, I could have, like, let, his, let him kill my canine tar and... Pop its effect and all that fancy stuff. I mean, what do I have in my grave right now? Two fire monsters in my grave. Karibo! That's actually good. Actually, I'm, I'm actually glad I attacked. Uh, use my econ then. I wanted to use this Karibo. Activates. 
Let's drop my other Phoenix. Get over top that Goka and we're in good. Good to go. Three months, three fire monsters in the grave. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even need Pyrorex, like, oh my goodness. Well, that's that. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, um, with Duel Links now on Steam, and uh, this will be a lot easier for me to make content. Uh, hopefully, there won't be such a long hiatus until my next video. But uh, I'll be around. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Alter Genesis, signing out. Peace.